What's up guys, Jordan here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can create custom icons for your Mac and then apply them to folders and hard drives. If you look right over here on my desktop, I have these hard drives attached to my MacBook Pro. And it's kind of confusing because I don't really know which hard drives which just based on a quick glance. I have to uh, read the text and it just doesn't look quite as cool because this isn't what my hard drives actually look like. I like having the icon actually a picture of what the drive looks like. So. Uh, they're Passport Drives by Western Digital. So uh, this particular drive looks like this one right here. And the other drive is this uh, My Passport for Mac. So anyways, I'm gonna work with this picture right here. So we're gonna turn just a picture off of Google into an icon that we can actually apply to this external hard drive. So the first thing you need to do is actually get the picture on your desktop. So just drag it onto the desktop. And then I'm gonna open it up with preview and do a little bit of editing. Um, I'm first just gonna select right here and then Command K, we'll crop it. And then uh, make sure the annotations is on and then do the instant alpha and then delete, then convert it to a PNG and then save it. And then you can uh, rename it, whatever you want. Just do one TB passport. Okay, so now once we have that renamed, we need to actually convert it into an icon. And what I use is I convert icons. Link is down in the description. There is a uh, paid for version that you can download to your Mac and it's a lot simpler and easier that way, but I just use the online version and it's free. So click on that and then select browse. And a quick little tip, if this window comes up off in some other file um, and you have the actual file right here, you can just drag it in and it'll actually uh, highlight it within this little file search area. And then uh, just select open and then hit convert. It'll upload it and then convert. Now the conversion has finished and now we need to select what format we want to download it. And you see uh, Mac, Windows, and then Linux right there. And so there's two choices for Mac. We need this one, the .hqx, because it is Finder ready. And I'll talk about that in just a second. So go ahead and click download, then pull it out of your downloads folder. I'm just gonna put it on the desktop so it's easy to work with. So we're all done with iConvert icons. Now this is a zipped uh, icon package here. So just double click on it, it'll unzip. So here we have the icon and as you can see, it's all alpha out. And what I mean by alpha is it doesn't have the white around the edges. Uh, it's all clean and crisp. But if we actually hit the space bar, whoa, what exactly is this? Is it a text file? It's kind of weird, right? Well, it has some instructions right here, but uh, I'll just go ahead and go through what you need to do. To actually use this icon, what you do is you right click or control click and then get info. And now it'll give you the preview right here, okay? Then you go over to the drive or folder, um, just to demonstrate, uh, this is a folder and this is a drive. And then you go back over to the get info for that icon. So you click on that picture, and then you do command C, which is copy. And then you go over here, click on this, so it's selected and highlighted, and then command V, paste. And then you will notice, bam, it's changed. And now you'll see that icon uh, when you do the quick look of the hard drive. So it's very cool and it'll also work on folders. So very, very, very awesome. Uh, and if you want to get rid of it, uh, this is for the folder over here. If you want to get rid of it, you just select it and hit delete. And then I'll go back to the default. So I could very easily undo um, this one as well. So that's how you do it. And uh, then you can keep this around if you ever wanna use it. Uh, again, put it in some icons folder, but then you can go ahead and delete the picture. So that's all there is to it. It's incredibly, incredibly simple and it's free to do. 
with iConvert icons.com you can use the online version as you see it's incredibly easy but if you're going to be doing a lot of these you may want to download the uh, full version you may want to download it onto your mac uh, just for ease of use but i don't believe there's any uh, added features uh, i'm gonna also create this icon for um, the other hard drive as well and as you see very very easy but do make sure that you go in and you do create uh, you do that little bit of editing and preview because otherwise it won't come out with a nice crisp um, picture. Also, another thing you can simply do, you can simply select it like so and do Command C, and then right click, get info, and Command V. But you can see it doesn't come out nice and pretty because you still have those edges around there. So if you really want the nice crisp icon look like this one, you're going to want to go through all the steps that I outlined. But anyways, guys, that's how you create your own custom icons and then apply them to drives and folders on your Mac. And as always, if you have a great day, hopefully I'll see you in another video real soon. Later.